High crochets of the world we will knit together <laughs> in this tutorial again knitting. I don't know why lately I am <laughs> I'm designing a uh, lot not lots but some knitting uh, things. I really don't know why, but uh, that's it. Now this one, this one with the eyelash yarn, it's actually mm, it's actually normally that I worked it, I designed it uh, on knitting, not on crochet, because the eyelash yarn it's uh, almost impossible to crochet, but it's uh, really e not really easy, but it's easier to knit because it's not easy to knit too so let's say that it's a difficult uh, yarn to knit or crochet but to knit it's easier it's like the boucle yarn i don't know if you know it, it if you have it in mind it's that uh, nice and uh, curl very curly yarn <laughs> yes i can say it's the boucle yarn and uh, that one is really nice it gives a lovely effect to our our items but even that one is perfect for knitting, not very good for crochet. I crocheted it, I remember time ago, really long time ago, years ago, I crocheted a, crocheted a um, pullover with a, a boucle yarn and it was like a nightmare, <laughs> believe me. So uh, we will knit this. Now all that you need to know to knit is to knit, actually to knit not pearl but only knit. It's really easy from this point of view. Now we, will, we will begin from the bottom part, backside bottom part, we will go up and here we will work a little bit. You will see in the tutorial, um, what can I say, we will, all, we will also short uh, work some short rows. I try to explain it as clear as I, I could. I, I really think I, I really hope I did a, a good job. <laughs> you tell me. Now, um, about the yarn. So I uh, used, this is what, the, the leftover of my four uh, gram, 400 grams, 400 grams, 400 grams of yarn that I used. So the eyelash yarn. And I use it with this one, with the, uh, soft chain wool, really lovely yarn. So I use it with this one and I must say it's really really nice and soft and it was perfect for it. So you can see it here and here and maybe I can put on the front side some borders, I think. Now, if you don't find the color, because this com comes in so many beautiful colors, but this one only a few colors, so if you cannot find the, the perfect fit for your uh, eyelash yarn, you can try with the Mirage, because it's really, really lovely, or with the Merino Gold, or there are other yarns. Now, if you don't know how to choose, ask me. <laughs> so you can just write me a mail and I will be so very happy to help you to choose the perfect combination of the eyelash with another yarn, because you need to work the eyelash with another yarn wool yarn, obvious. So I, I used 8 mm crochet, not crochet, but needles, knitting needles, so 8 mm, and it grows up really fast. So with 8 mm, really, really fast, believe me. We don't need sleeves, so it's <laughs> it's only back and for, uh, back and uh, back side and front side, so it's really easy. Um, what else I can say to convince you to, to give it a try? <laughs> <laughs> just to give it a try. Um, I don't know. Oh, the quantity. So for the small medium, you will need one of these and one of the uh, companion, <laughs> let's say um, fellow, <laughs> fellow yarn. And um, from the large, um, large, extra large, extra, extra large, you will need two packs of eyelash and obvious two packs of the, the fellow yarn. <laughs> so, yes, this is it. Let's get started because we have a lot to do. So now let me just explain you a little bit uh, how to work this gilet. This is the back side in length till the underarm. 
first measure that you need to take is the circum hip circumference leave two centimeters for ease and divide it by two obvious then uh, what you obtain you will will be the uh, measure of your um, cast on stitches okay now in my case it's uh, 50 centimeters and 57 stitches so I began with 50 st I cast it on 57 stitches now this is the part that you can see now it's this one and I'm exactly more or less exactly underarm because uh, even here we need to left to leave some centimeters for ease so we cannot go <laughs> actually underarm pit and I worked about 35 centimeters in length now and I know that I need 23 centimeters for this part so the the arm actually hole okay it's 23 centimeters so this is something that you have to measure on yourself obvious and for the armpit i leave five centi centimeters on one side for i yes leaves um, five centimeters on the other side which in my case are six stitches so there will be 10 centimeters so because this is the back side with the front side will be uh, five more so actually i will leave 10 centimeters for this part okay and this is because this is 10 centimeters is not too much uh, it's actually on the underarm like this and this is why uh, so I take this uh, this decision because it's easier for you to understand how to work it. So actually, uh, we just want to go straight, okay? So you won't need to uh, decrease anymore. We will just we will close the six um, stitches here at the beginning and at the end, and then we will cover this 24, 23 centimeters. Now this is for me, it's a medium size. From here you can just go ahead and um, alter it for your size. It's really easy because you already have um, my measures. But just use the meter and just measure yourself it's so easy okay don't worry don't you don't have to be um to panic okay so now let me show you how to close this these stitches so i worked i only knitted okay so you just i don't know if you can see them here it's only knitted you just need to knit so knit to knit <laughs> That's all. Now to close these yarns, these, sorry, stitches, I will slip the first and then I will just work the second, knit the second and pull the first through the second, over the second and let it down. This is my first stitch that is closed. Now knit the next, just knit and then pass the first over the second and leave it there let it down one two this is the second and now i will continue on like this until i will close i will bind off actually this is the term three six a total of six as i said there are five centimeters okay this is the next it's my fourth to be bind off one two three four five And six. This is the last. Here it is. And six. Now it's one, two, three, four. 
four, five, six, maybe eight is a little bit difficult to see them. And I highly recommend you to put a marker here into the very first that you bind it off because it's easier than to count them. So like this you can just see them. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, from here I will just go ahead and work all my stitches till I reach my last six. And I have to bind off the, that last six too. Okay, okay, let me explain you what I did. I didn't stop six stitches before the the end of the row but i worked till the end of the row now you can stop before and then close bind off the last six but if you do so you have to cut the yarn and when you turn your work you will skip the six that you bind it off and will be you will begin from the next if you do as i do you don't need to cut the yarn so i just here it is, this is the row that I began with the six binded off. Then I worked all till the end. Now into the very next row, I bind off at the beginning again, six, and it's easier, okay? So one, this is the first, this is the second that I want to knit, and then to bind it off, okay, one. Then we have two, and then we bind it off, one, two, three, now we want to knit. Need the fifth and now we bind it off and the sixth and we bind it off and now we are just ready to go ahead and work our stitches so we have one two three four five six again immediately put the marker into the very first so you will be able to count okay now I will continue on to work my stitches on, uh, I had 57, I bind it off 12, 6 plus 6, there are 12, so now I have 45 stitches to work on for 23 uh, centimeters, which is actually this part, so the uh, arm length. Okay, this, not the arm length, sorry, the armhole length. And then I will be back to show you how to work the short rows. Now, here there are two, um, two ways. You can just continue on, work 23 centimeters or how many you need for the armhole. Leave some one or two centimeters for ease under arm, obvious, when you count this. Uh, when you measure this, sorry, and you can just go ahead and work all the length and bind off all. Or you can uh, finish with some um, short rows just because it's better, so the, the will drape better, actually this is the idea. Okay, so you will have this ugly things thing here if you work bind off all the stitches. If you work some uh, short rows, you will just have a really beautiful curve here. Exactly, you know the the shoulder. It's like this. It's not like this. So our shoulder it's not straight. It's a little bit like this. So this is what we need to do. To have a perfect item so you can choose as I said the the easier uh, way so you can just 
bind off all the stitches or you can choose um, the most difficult one but the, the, the better and uh, you know you learn it for once and you know it I will show you how to work the short rows okay I finished my uh, arm hole space so from here to here it's 22 centimeters and now I want to show you so you can just leave it as it is and uh, bind off but if you want to work some short rows with me just watch how to work them it's not that difficult I will use so I always use actually German short rows now you will need two uh, markers to put actually on the cable in between the stitches and two markers like this okay and let's see how to work with them so actually how to work now I will begin by explaining you how to uh, divide shoulder shoulder and neck now I have actually 45 stitches and this is perfect uh, a multiple of three so for me there is no problem if your number of stitches that you have it's not a multiple of three anyway divide it by three and the stitches that are uh, more um, that remains uh, remain let's say uh, of these three 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 so three parts equally parts you will put them you will add them on the neckline so exactly uh, the 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 idea is if you don't have a multiple of three so it's not 45 let's say it's 47 uh, it's 45 that is uh, the multiple of three and you have too many uh, two more stitches left that two more stitches left will be put on the neckline okay so instead of 15 15 and 15 will be 15 15 and here plus two more uh, 17 okay this is the idea now I have 15 15 and 15 and I will work until I will reach 15 I will put one marker then I will work the neck line stitches so in my case there are 15 but as I said it can be one or two or three more uh, stitches more work those and put the marker so this marker and then I will show you how to begin because this will be the first uh, short row so I worked 15 stitches and I put on a marker now I am working on my 15 for the neckline so if you have more you work them all one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, and 15. And I put the other marker. Okay. And now I will work all the stitches till my last three. So stop before your last uh, three stitches. Okay. So knit actually before your last three okay I stop before my f last four stitches I was wrong sorry not three stitches but we will uh, leave out four stitches always and what I want to say is that how to know so when we work on one side and on the other side so we need to work these uh, short rows on one side and on the other side and when we work them like this in pairs actually we work on one side and then we go back and we work on the other side and this is one uh, short row finished okay when we when we skip four on one side and on the other side too now i am working on my first half and how do i know how many short rows i need to work i know uh, by uh, i have we have to do this simple simple um, thing so how many times four stays in our 
total number of the shoulder. Mine is 15, so uh, entire stays uh, three times. Three per four, it's 12, okay? If you have 16, it's four times. If you have, uh, I don't know, so it's, this is the idea. Okay, so three times, which means I need to work three pairs of short rows, three pairs on my 12 stitches, okay? So, let me show you. This is the first half of the first pair. One, two, three, four. Now, we knit the first of the four and then we just need to turn our work. Now we will slip with the yarn in front, we slip the one that we knitted and then we pull like this the yarn on the back side. And here we have two stitches formed. Okay, around these two stitches I need to put my marker. So we have to take both of them, okay, like this. Now I know that this is my turning my turning uh, stitch, okay? So I have one, two, three, four. And now I will just go back, knitting all the stitches to my last four on the other side. And on the other side, I will do exactly the same thing. And like this, I will finish my very first row, short row. So only three I need to complete, okay? So that's, I, that's why, I said to you, it's really, really easy, easy. even if you have uh, 17 stitches for the shoulder, you, you will need to complete four um, short rows, so four pairs, okay? So this is the shoulder, now I will pass the marker and then I will go with the stitches of the neckline. And the stitches of the neckline are in between my two markers that I put like this. Okay. And then Now I will go ahead and work all my stitches until my last four. So just work all the stitches until my last four. Now I'm back. I stopped four before <laughs> the finish, the end of the row here too. And now I work, I knit the first of the four, then I turn back and I Pass it from the left needle to the right needle with the yarn in front. This one, the last that I need. And then I pull the yarn on the back side so I can have these two stitches here. And I put the marker around both. Now I will begin, now I am actually beginning my second pair. So I just worked my four, my one, my first pair, sorry. Now I am just beginning my, my uh, second pair. For the second pair, I will stop four stitches before the marker. Okay, now I have the marker and it's easier. One, two, three, four. So I stop four stitches before the marker. I always use these markers. Uh, you will see, you will say, oh my gosh, it is so easy to keep track of your uh, short rows like this. Believe me. Okay. So I just knit like this. So I stop four stitches before 
the stitch with the marker. I have only three here. Oh, sorry. It's here. So four stitches, one, two, three, and four. And this is my stitch with the marker. I have two, two loops here. Okay. And I will work exactly the same thing. Knit the last of the four or the first of the four. Turn your work. Turn your work. And with the yarn in front, take the stitch that you just knitted and pass it on the right side needle and then pull 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 the yarn on the back side until you have these two loops here now we will take the marker from this and we just want to put it on these two and you know why because now this is our short row it's here okay so we already worked eight here we have one two three these two together one two three these two together okay good now I will go back and I will do the same thing on the other side so like this I will finish my second pair and I will have eight here too okay eight on one side eight on the other side and then I will complete one more pair so I will have 12 and 12 okay and then I will be back to show you how to work the last two completed rows before the binding up. okay so I uh, I am on my last row when you finish the last row back so the second of the last pair uh, so you you go back you will work all the stitches all even the 12 that we have here and now I am doing I will do the same thing on the other side and um, this is the last two rows that we need to work so we will work one with all the stitches on one side finished and that is actually the row when we finish we work the last Of the pair, uh, the last pair, the last row of the last pair on one side. On the other side, when we turn, actually on the other side, we just worked all the stitches. Okay, and then we come back, and this is now actually this is the row, the last row. We come back and work all the stitches on this side too. And just let me show you how. This is the first. Okay, so. Here I have uh, one more because I need to have three after the marker, okay? And now how do I know that I have two to work together? Because this is the stitch with the marker, so here, here it is, re is really easy. So I will work one. And then the next three is one stitch okay so just we know two and three the first of each group of four must be worked two together so both stitches one and then we work again three okay so like this you won't go wrong one two three and then again two together and then again one two and three okay and that's it now all I need to do is actually to bind off all the stitches and then I will be back to show you how to begin the front side I will just bind off to bind off it's it's easy you I think you know how to bind off the stitches to go okay like this so we knit the first or we can even pass the first we need the second and then we go with the first over the second and we let it 
down and then we go knit one past the first over the second and this is the second one too okay uh, I will put a marker into the first so it will be easier for us to understand where it is because we know because we will uh, need it for the uh, front side so let us begin the front side we will actually begin the front side from by pulling 15 now we have 15 so the number of chains of stitches actually sorry that we need for the shoulder one one of the shoulders this is the first stitch and I will just try with the first it's a little bit more difficult we can use also <laughs> we can also use a uh, it's easier like this a knitting needle a sorry crochet hook okay this is the first now I will put my 15 I don't know how many okay it's that I don't know so this is my very first I will put a total of 15 stitches and this is the first from now on it's easier second okay let's go with three and then four just be sure that you are into the stitch we need actually like this we need actually one two three four five Six, seven, eight, and just watch your stitches where they are. It's not very easy, but it is, it is not impossible to. Okay. Here it is. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I will continue on like this. Nine. And we began from here. So I'm like this. This means, so it depends on if this is the front side. So it's here that we need, I need to begin then uh, I will begin with my first short row because now we will work exactly the same number of short rows that we worked but only on this side so on the uh, external part obvious which means I I will begin with my first short row so again the same thing I will skip my uh, first four exactly as I showed then another four then another four so until I will have only three here okay and then I will work one more row uh, so there will be three rows actually one go back two go back three go back actually six rows okay and so let me show you I will turn my work and work the first one, two, three, until I will have my last four. Okay, 
That's one, two, three, four. I have to work two more. One and two. It's one, two, three, four. Okay, I have one more actually. And now I will knit the first of the four, turn my work. Turn my turn my work. Oops. Okay. Turn my work and with the yarn in front skip uh slip it. And don't forget about your markers. Here. Okay, so these are my two two li two little legs here, two little loops, two little legs. Okay. And now I will go back. Okay, I will go back. And this is my very first short row. And then I will begin the second. Okay. This is I will show just want to sh show you the first because the second and the third it's exactly the same. So actually we go like this. In this direction we skip for the last four so from the marker now four more then we go back okay and into the last actually we will go back for three stitches I will go back for three stitches okay here it is and now I will go back uh, actually I will go back I will work um, all my um, stitches till the marker so one two three four I will work these stitches until uh, four and the same thing and then four more okay so um, that's it so I finished with three and now I began my last uh, row here which is the row uh, with all the stitches so I need to work my 12 here too so when I I work one two three when I work my 12 the first of each group of four is to be worked with both little um, legs there and then one two and three as we did on the back side only that here we work only on one side and then we we need to go through two legs again one and then two three four okay and then again one and this is with two legs again and two, three, four. Okay. Like this. Okay. Now I am at the end of my row. And what I need to do now in each row, we finish uh, on the neckline three times we will increase so only three times which means this is the row that begins from the arm let's say part and we will finish uh, on the neck and we will increase so in each row for three rows like this we increase uh, only into the row that begins at the from the arm side and finish so this is the arm and finish uh, on the neck line okay which means we work one two and at the end we want to increase so I already worked my first increase here and I come back and now let me show you one the second actually pair so each row for three rows each row Maybe if you work for a large or extra large, large, extra large, yes, maybe you will uh, need four of these rows. It's you to decide how large you want it around the neck. So I begin from the arm. 
so I will just work all the stitches and the last stitch will be a increase the last stitch that is this. all the stitches I already have 16 stitches from 15 because I already increased once as I said and this is the second increase row actually there are only three increasing rows but we work six because it's one and the second is so this is the last stitch I will work it like this and then from the front knit from the back and from the front and I just add one more so I have 17 now let's go back and now we don't increase and I will work one uh, two more rows like this so this one I will just go back knit all the stitches just knit all the stitches okay so another row this is the second row one with increase one without increase and now I go on to work two more rows like this so I will actually have 18 stitches okay this is without increase and now I go and work my two pairs last two uh, stitches last two rows as you can see they are here the increases okay so I finished with a increase here I added three stitches now let me tell you something I added three stitches for the uh, neckline okay so on the neckline I have 15 I must have 15 here too but I all only have three and I will have three on the other side which is six and I need nine more to have 15 or uh, nine I have to put a even number which is 10 okay because I need an even number I have to divide it in twice five on one side five on the other side so I will just add five stitches five uh, stitches yes like this one two three four and five and now I will just go back and knit this um, row. I will knit this row and I will let it like this. Then I will show you how to work the other part of the front side. This is two and then it's three, four. Oh my gosh like this okay four five this is the last of my five that I added okay five and now I will just go on and knit the rest of the stitches okay so I added actually eight stitches here for the um, front side front of the neck so I finished all I also uh, sew uh, the sides actually and now I also worked a um, arm hole I want to show you so I want to work the armholes actually I worked one only with the yarn that I 
uh, worked with the eyelash yarn, but I put it in twice, so I will work with, I double it, okay? And work with two skeins, two balls of yarns. Okay, and with a seven millimeters hook, I worked all my uh, gilet with eight millimeters hook. Okay, I will begin from the underarm and I will put a number of stitches here on uh, the side, on one side, and I know, because I already did the first, I know that I have to put on one side on, uh, yes, 40, uh, 40, 40 stitches, so 20 on one side, 20 on the other side. This is the first, now I go with the second one, two, and three, okay, four, five, six, Just go ahead, seven, eight, nine, as you can see I am ten, I need twenty till here, oh my gosh, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, it's here, 18, 19, and 20, and here I am. Now, anyway, uh, you need a uh, number uh, multiple of 4, I have 40 all around, because we will work uh, a elastic border uh, knit 2 per 2. Okay, this is the first side, now I will go on the other side, like this, okay, and I will continue with again 20. So I know that I need again 20 stitches, so I will skip here in the middle and go here. And this will be my first on the other side. And just because this is my first on the other side, I just want to put the marker on it so I can count it, okay? Count from here. Okay, one, and then I go two, and three, and four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I will put ten more. I already began to work here, so if you don't know how to work the magic loop, uh, I have a video where I explain exactly this method and uh, you can just go ahead and watch it because here it's a little bit difficult to understand it because we are working with this eyelash yarn. Uh, I am working two uh, knit to purl. So two knit or knit to purl two actually. So it's knit two. I divide it in half, purl two because this is the idea of the magic loop. Purl two and knit two and purl two okay this is the idea of the magic loop purl two i will knit here and i will begin with a knit on the other side because and always on this side i also put a marker into my last stitch so i know where it is where it is so you will just or divide like this at the end okay so now I will begin with a knit 
because I finished this half with a knit. I'm working, still working on my very first round. This is knit. And now I have, I finished my two knit and I go purl two, one and two. And knit two, and knit two, like this. Okay, and purl two, one and two, and knit two, now the first row round actually will be, it's a little bit more strange, purl two, and knit two, Purl two, knit two, afterwards will be easier, purl two, oh I have only one here, how come, because I must have knit two, okay I will purl two from this one then, I must finish with one, And I just want one more. I will try to take it from here directly. Now, what can I do? Because it's only one and I need two. Or maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can purl like this, one, and, and I still need one because you know we have, so I think I will do exactly what I said, so I will just try to take one more from here. I forgot to take one from here, so I need one more. Okay, and this will be my last. This is my last one, okay. So put it here. The marker. We need a multiple of four. Okay, I finished this very first row now. And I'm ready to begin another row and from this one will be easier I just try to like this divide in two more or less and begin to work now it's it's easier because we already did the first one this is knit two one and two I go purl two and so on. Okay, I will do so for five or six rounds. And then I will bind off. And the last thing I want to show here is the neckline. How to do the neckline. Okay. So I finished the uh, sleeve and now I am... Uh, working on the neckline i put two markers exactly for the back side okay so on the front side i took five plus four till the marker the marker is exactly on the back side and now i'm working on the back side on the back side stitches i take two so you can see them these are the stitches one, two, three. So I take two stitches and I skip one. Insert through two stitches and skip one. This is how you will work. Now you must have all around a number, uh, 
a multiple of 4 plus 2. So that's why I just want to count mine. Now I have 9 plus 9 on the front side, which is 18. And 18 is exactly multiple of 4 plus 2. Multiple of 4 is 16 plus 2, 18. Which means on the back side I need to have a multiple of 4 to complete, uh, so to have the perfect formula. And I put 12. So I have 12 plus 18, which is, um, which is exactly 20. Okay, uh, 12 plus 18 is 30. Okay, so I have 30, so it's 28, the multiple of 4 plus 2. 30 is perfect. Now I will begin to work uh, 2, uh, need 2 pearl 2 for the length that I want it to be. So that's that was it. Uh, I won't say it's easy because it is not. It is difficult, but um, what can I say? It is nice. Really, really lovely work. I was uh, just, I don't know, I loved to work this project uh, because it's a nice project. It was my very first, it is actually my very first project that I worked, I knitted with the, with this beautiful, uh, eyelash yarn and um, what can I say uh, it's nice it's lovely and if you want to uh, work it you can just ask me uh, questions about how to 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 work it you can write to me mails just uh, take the yarn from my shop you have the link below and you have all my uh, assistance let's say if you need it and if you really want to work it so even if uh, uh, if you want to have it into my group you can um, write to me a, uh, a mail and I will um, show you actually send you the link to the group where you can just uh, have my all my attention to work this um, so you have the video you have me um, all you have to do is to uh, buy the yarn from the link below um, and if you want me to tell you actually the yarn to use with the color that you choose just again ask me. So thank you for watching see you at the next tutorial bye bye.